Hello everyone. Been on my own all week. Uh, temperatures dropped a little bit. But we've still had no rain. If you look in the rice field across there, it's bone dry. Uh, cold today. Just 35 degrees. Well, it feels cool anyway. Mimi's just come back. See, look at even my garden's bone dry. Mimi's just come back from Serene. So I gave her back a good clean up the other day. Looks good. Not too much chain oil fling rather from the chain. Here she is, look, sitting in here. Nice breeze comes through this bit. What are you doing, Tamarai? Huh? Where are you So is this what you made all week? Huh? She made me and her dad a shirt as well. There in the house. Well, mine is her dad's. Already, <coughs> already got his. Right, leave you to it. Are you gonna go to the market or not later? Huh? We gotta get chicken food. Need to get water. Well, I hope the rain comes. Winnie, what are you doing? <laughs> Winnie, see him Yeah, I knew that would make you look. Hard life, eh? I need to go and get some water. No delivery this week. All empty. Hey, oh. I was going to wash the car today, because it's all dirty, dusty, covered in bird shit, ginger shit, whatever. And I went to my old pipe over here and look at it. How Rocky chewed the uh, connection off of the hose. Little swine. Alright everyone. Oh man. It was one of those days. So, I checked the pheno because it needs its uh, annual vehicle roadworthiness inspection. Bear in mind, I, I never really use these. Well, you don't want Rocky. Huh? So, I guess it once over. Now, last week or week before, whenever it was, not, not too long ago, I topped up the brake reservoir with oil. But, no one told me, all the while they've been using it, that there's been no front brake on this. And it must have been like that for quite a little while. I just grabbed the lever this morning, came right back to the bars. So, mm. so give it a bleed, bled the master cylinder and the caliper. <clears throat> Made no difference. So, took the wheel off, took the brake pads out, cleaned the, the caliper up. Now, this pad's not, this pad's not too bad. But this one here, it's obviously worn down, it's wearing unevenly. Um, There's a bit of meat on there, but not enough. So, anyway, piston was bloody jammed, but I've managed to push it back in. I'll give it all a clean up. 
and I've just been and bought some new pads and you can see how much meat's on those compared to the old ones these Chinese things 80 baht 2 quid but they'll do, it's only a pheno I'm just reading it. No, it's, not. it's made in Thailand actually. Thought it was Chinese. No, it's just seen that made in Thailand. I think the name threw me Chicada. So anyway, I'll fit them. Just as well, I didn't throw that away in it because the new pad doesn't come with the spring and it doesn't come with the new air pins either the air clip so all right I'm gonna put it all back together and uh, see how it is then well I'm actually I'll just show you how I got the piston back in basically use this uh, rubber mallet pushed on the shaft which pushed the piston back on and then uh, I've just fitted the spring Only goes in one way, so uh, it's a bit idiot proof really. I'll just put a pad in. Right, the larger of the two pads has this plate that goes on the back, which just clips in in place. You've got a little groove there for this. Just go like that. Two grooves on the top. There you go. Don't forget that. The small uh, <coughs> pad goes in first. You've got the pin that goes through these holes here. And then there's uh, where my thumb is there. That slots into there and is held in place. So I'll just push the pin through a little bit. So there you go, there's the pin. That's held in place by the two uh, R clips, and that's sat neatly in the housing. Make sure it goes all the way in. Yeah, the Fino is a popular little bike for foreigners out here in Thailand so it's a bit of self uh, maintenance you can do, it's pretty easy. So this pins in, both our clips are in place. Uh, case now of separating the brake pads apart and uh, slipping it over the disc when I put the wheel back on. Some of you might have seen the bricks that I have laying down here. This is the reason I have them. Just for supporting uh, things like the motorbike, the quad bike, whenever I'm doing maintenance. Well, alright, let's fit the caliper back on, screw it in place and, uh, and get the wheel back on. When you put these things together, don't forget to put the spacer back in. And on the other side, connect the speedo housing back up. It's a little bit awkward because these forks flex and twist, but again, I'm gonna need to hands Put it back together in a second. So here we go. Got a break. Run it off to the test centre. Just need to get the green book. It's basically what you pay for. You pay for the, the vehicle test and then you pay for the porable 
which is like the tax disc and it comes with compulsory third party insurance. Hey ho, another job done.